This is Power Director App 63 video editing on a tablet compared to a phone. So what we're going to do is, for those people who are dedicated, of course, to Cyberlink Power Director and video editing, for the last three years I've used on the left a Moto G4, which is 5.5 inches on Android 7, and I've got access to a Lenovo M10 10.1 inch tablet. Now dead center in the middle there is very clearly a 3.8 times bigger screen so how does that really affect us with video editing so I'm going to do a like for like for the next um, a few slides here so on the left obviously the little one I can see on opening up a sample project of just um, color board for about five seconds on that timeline I can see 16.5 seconds compared to the big tablet 23 seconds so it's the obvious we can see more but how does that actually go in practice moving the timeline along we can still see more seconds much more seconds on the tablet of course when it gets really interesting is the creativity and the build of your video editing so on the left here if I was going to add a slip of a, uh, a clip rather then on video I can see about ten and a half thumbnails just kind of think what I'm doing OK, it's blank because it's a new tablet, but I can more or less see 40 different thumbnails. So if you've got a lot of videos to choose from, it's really important. Hence the next image, which is to add a still image because I've already populated that in Snapseed. On the mobile on the left, of course, I can see 10 and a half thumbnails. For my selection on the right, if I've got a lot of photos, I've got 40 different thumbnails or photos to choose from where you can start to see the substantial difference. And... You know, needless to say, I'm extremely pleased going on to the tablet. So on the left here, we've got to add a transition. I can only see that there's about, um, well, eight boxes, six clean transitions on the mobile. On the right, I've got 32. So in terms of thinking, how am I going to add a transition? Which transition maybe shall I use? 32 choices immediately in front of your eyes, I think is really, really useful. So going on to the next one, we have playback with timeline. Of course, I'm very used in the last three years or so to be going on a small video on the left. On the right, it's much uh, bigger, of course, with the tablet. This is really... I would say luxuriously enjoyable because you can actually see what your finished video is going to be about when you hide the timeline. Of course, you can go full screen. Video effects is something I don't use a lot. But when I have to do, I really do not remember what's there. So therefore, on the left, I have to scroll through. On the right, I can see all of the video effects immediately, which is, you know, you can probably get the tone of my voice that it's working quite well. There are some subtle things, meaning that um, to edit a menu or edit a clip, I've got a 9 by 9 grid on the mobile on the left. On the right, I've also got the 9, but it does not obscure the final image, which I think is a huge, huge bonus for that. Final thing here, because we're nearly done, is that I usually in the last few videos, or if not a lot, is use the YouTube Audio Music Library. On the tablet, of course, I've got Chrome, and I can download immediately to the device, which is really good. I can do that on the left with the mobile phone, but it's, it's just fiddly, and I always use my Windows machine and then transfer it with USB or something, which takes extra step and an extra time. So that was a Moto G4, in other words, a mobile phone, compared to the Lenovo M10 tablet. Notice I've ditched a lot of like the specs, but both machines here are octa-core processors and super powerful. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.